The facts matter. Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is February 10th, 2021, and happy Wednesday to everyone. So you guys will remember just a couple days ago, I put up a video called Moore's Gone Mad in Court. It was the actual footage of some Moors that went into court and the judge very patiently tried to explain to them the error of their ways. <clears throat> There is a particular party that has been watching my channel for about a week and a half that I'm aware of that's been making comments rather on my channel of uh, different scenarios with mores that I put up. And they're very insistent that I have no idea what I'm talking about and clearly just have not done my research. So I'm going to go over the comments that this person has left since Monday when I uploaded the Moore's Gone Mad in Court video with you so that you can see what he's referring to, who he's referring to, and then we're going to educate him just a little bit on the fact that Virgo always does her research. So here we go. The name of this party, as you can see, is the Negro Problem Solver. A link to his channel will be located in the description of this video for those of you that would like to talk with him. As you can see here, he left a comment that says, Virgo, all of your claims are in reference to people who don't know what they're doing. My response to that, of course, is, yeah, obviously, they don't know what they're doing. But he says, call out C. Cannon Bay and the United States of America Republic and see that you can't put us in the same box with the many idiots you do use to make examples of. What this person does not realize is that I am fully aware of who Christopher Cannon is. I um, actually have had to debate several of the people that follow him and I know what he's all about. I know quite a bit about him. So we're going to go into this. Um, and then he leaves a phone number here. And then, of course, says, if Virgo really wants to find out how and why true Moorish Americans. <clears throat> yes, I read that right. If Virgo really wants to find out how and why true Moorish Americans, and then nothing after that, she would reach out or maybe she only about views off others misapplication okay so what this channel is about mr negro problem solver is um i actually follow people with extreme ideologies and i tend to debunk those ideologies because those ideologies are flawed and they tend to hurt people that follow them because people will believe what they're saying and then they find themselves getting in trouble. Your claim um, about the uh, United States of America Republic, for example, um, it being a part of your Moorish group and that it's a government in itself is simply not true. Um, it is not a government in itself. and. I would be very cautious if I were Mr. C. Cannon Bay in using that exact name in the manner that he's attempting to. The reason why is because although it's not illegal to use the name United States of America within your business uh, in any way, shape, or form, the fact that you are actually saying the United States of America Republic, um, because technically, the United States of America is a republic. So see, this is actually not an attempt at having your own government as much as it is fooling others by using that name into believing that you are a government in which C. Cannon Bay is no more the president of the United States of America Republic than, um, oh, I don't know, <laughs> then Tom Hanks is the president of the United States, okay? It just isn't, and I'm sorry that that upsets you, but it is what it is. Facts don't lie. Here we go. 
He then leaves his phone number again and says, true Moorish Americans don't go inside those courtrooms, period. Well, your buddy C. Cannon Bay has been in an awful lot of them, and very recently, too. We're going to be taking a look at that in just a moment. Then he says, for those who want to see the difference between lawful Moorish Americans versus these African Americans who don't know what they're doing, and then says nothing else. Okay, first of all, unfortunately, although I know it's something you seriously want to believe, I have yet to find, with the exception of the 501c3 Moorish American temples, um, that are actually out there that are religious groups. Many of them do assist their communities and do a darn good job doing it. However, for those that are online pushing the claims that you have made in some of your comments previously, there are none. There is no vast estate. There are no secret accounts. And you are not a diplomat. So therefore, that does not make you a Moorish American national who is above the United States laws. It just doesn't. End of story. Here we go. True Moors under the leadership of Sea Cannon Bay do not support any of this. Well, that's funny, because Sea Cannon Bay has used all of this garbage in the majority of his lawsuits, which, by the way, we'll be looking at very shortly. His next comment. Virgo, here is my number so I can explain to you the difference between the fake Moors and those who don't support this crap. Listen, Nico Problem Solver, I know you're trying really hard, and I know you may even believe what you're saying, but you've been misled, and I'm about to show you how misled you've been. You see, if C. Cannon Bay really knew what he was talking about, then he would not be putting things to the court right now the way that he is you have been misled sir here we go with another one you only can say this about moors who don't know what they're doing unfortunately all of the moors that i have on my channel that i present to try to assist followers to not fall into the rabbit holes and get hurt no you're right none of them know what they're doing and neither does your beloved C. Cannon Bay, also known as Christopher H. Cannon. Let's take a look. This is what's called a background check. This is on Christopher H. Cannon, 53 years old and from Gary, Indiana, or rather in Gary, Indiana currently. Let's take a look at um, Mr. C. Cannon Bay's actual criminal record, shall we? And then we can take a look at some other interesting things, too. And yes, I can confirm this is the same person. So, first of all, we have some um, arrests and charges that have been filed. We have one here from 95. Ooh, we have one here from 2019 in April, where this had to do with unlawfully displaying titles, certificates, and plates Oh, probably with one of those Moorish national license plates. And as you can see, he was charged. Yeah, didn't really work for him. But let's go on. Okay, so in um, 2019, possession of title registration was also a charge. Let's take a look at that. It says superseded by direct indictment. Misdemeanor. Yeah, didn't really work for him there either. My goodness, there's a lot of charges here from 2019. So, yeah, um, even your precious Sea Cannon Bay is not actually able to run around with a Moorish National license plate and claim that he can use it. You must have an actual state-issued license plate. Okay, here we go. 1996 possession of received stolen vehicle. My goodness. Then we have over here 
from 1990, some other stuff, 1988, burglary, oh, and heroin, mm -hmm. and disorderly conduct. I mean, this has been, you know, a, a succession of breaking the law. So he's got lots and lots of experience in court. I will agree with that. Let's actually take a look at businesses. Oh, we have a DUNS number here from All Points Development. For those of you that don't know what a DUNS number is, that is a um, Dun & Bradstreet number. So if you have a corporation, for example, you will have a DUNS number that you can supply to your vendors so that they can run what's the equivalent of a business credit report to determine if you pay your bills or not. After looking this particular company up, it looks like this company had some dealings in the medical industry. It also looks like that's not something that's being done anymore as of 2007. Um, or if it is, you know, it isn't necessarily something that is uh, that has a lot of dealings. Here we go with the United States of America Republic, oop, community outreach as of 2017. Now, of course, that's not a government. That's simply a community outreach. And we can actually take a look at that community outreach website right now. As you can see, it says United States of America Republic Community Outreach, right? We've got the flag there that you guys love to wave around. And we've got um, all kinds of whoops, nothing on there. Media, internet, radio, it's got one, two, two videos. Okay, this looks very unfinished. Uh, there's a farm here, has no information. Let's look at the photos. Here's the photo gallery. Ah, okay. All right. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness, I wonder if that's actually, oh wait, let's go back, no, there it is. That must be the license plate that someone keeps getting in trouble for. Oh look, I actually recognize this right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. not working, sorry. All right, so as we can see, there is a website and there is something actually on his background check that claims that he does work there. But that is not a government. That is simply an outreach program. And I'm not surprised at all that there's something out there that um, he's working on. And I hope it works out for him. It looks like it maybe is a charity thing. Um, but, you know, my gut tells me with his background, we need to be cautious about all of that. Now, if we go into assets or licenses, rather, you can actually see that there are no special licenses here, not even a hunting license or a fishing license. And then you can go down and you can take a look at, and I'm not going to go into this very much because it's really not all that important, um, all of these different homes that appear to have been flipped. Um, so what that means is someone has purchased them with cash, cash purchase, and then flipped them over to resell them. Perhaps that's how he's getting quick money or something of that sort. But my guess would be since they have been purchased with cash, there is actually a way to go back and see where they've been purchased from. Like for example, this person had passed away. It was in trust when it was purchased. You can trace it all the way back through the uh, ownership history in the actual state and city at the comptroller's office um, and find out every piece of information pertaining to each one of these properties. Um, so that's easy to do. Okay, and then we also have, it looks like, wait a minute, wait a minute, I found it up here. This one was um, Moorish Science Temple of America. Hmm, interesting. Let's take a look at that. And that is the address, 2175 Georgia Street in Gary, Indiana. And that is what we're looking at just a plot of land where it appears that someone has taken down the entire garage here and it looks like there's some sort of a standing here that is still still some sort of a structure here rather that is still standing that looks like maybe is a very small two-bedroom home moving on
When searching for Christopher H. Cannon, also known as C. Cannon Bay, um, one of the first things that pops up is the Department of Justice. As you can see, this is justice.gov. This is the United States Attorney David Cap from the Northern District of Indiana. And um, unfortunately, it appears as though Mr. Christopher H. Cannon, when he was 44 of Gary, Indiana, was sentenced by District Judge Joseph Van Bockelen to 30 months imprisonment, three years of supervised release, and restitution of $6,000 after being found guilty at trial of the felony offense of passing counterfeit obligations. This case was the result of an investigation by the United States Secret Service. This case was prosecuted by Assistant United States Attorney Randall Stewart, and this was no joke. I just got through looking at the case, as a matter of fact. Now, if your um, C. Cannon Bay that you claim is so wonderful was actually able to do all of the things that you claim and was not using the bogus arguments of the Moorish morons that are on uh, online that I have been warning people about, then I don't think we'd be seeing what's going on over here in all of these cases. Let's look. Here we go. Now, this was actually from the United States Court of Appeals out of Chicago, Illinois. And as you can see, the defendant is Christopher H. Cannon. And you can see that it was the United States of America um, that was, um, uh, it was the District Court of Appeals for the United States of America out of Indiana. And you can see here what the order is. Christopher Cannon, a self-professed public minister of the Moorish Science Temple of America, see, same guy, used fake $50 bills to buy three televisions from Sears. After a jury trial in December of 2011, during which Cannon was removed from the courtroom for disruptive behavior, he was found guilty of passing counterfeit money, see, 18 U.S.C. 472, the district judge sentenced him to 30 months imprisonment. But before that, in January of 2012, Cannon was charged in a second indictment with two counts of mail fraud arising from false insurance claims that he submitted after his house had burnt down. That case also went to trial and Cannon again removed from the courtroom for disruptive behavior. The jury found him guilty on one count and he was sentenced to 30 months imprisonment to be served consecutively to the 30 months imposed for the counterfeiting conviction. Cannon filed a notice of appeal from each judgment, and we have consolidated the two appeals for decision. Cannon is representing himself in his appeal from the counterfeiting conviction and has filed a brief on the merits. Now, we go down here and we take a look because this, you guys can, are welcome to look at this. I will have the link in the description for you to read the entire thing. But you will notice down here it says the judgment and appeal number 12-3832 is affirmed. Counsel's motion to withdraw and appeal number 132201 is granted and the appeal is dismissed. Meaning, guess what? He lost out again. Now it doesn't end there. He's been pissed ever since this took place, and he continues to try to file against either the city or the state. And if you take a look here, we have one that he just filed January 29th of 2021. This one is in the process here where received complaint but no copies by Christopher H. Cannon Bay. Okay, that's all. That's he, This one was just filed. We have another one here. This one was Cannon Bay at all versus the United States of Illinois, or excuse me, the state of Illinois. Here we go. It's a civil rights case, supposedly. And you can see up here, proof of service executed on 1-14-2021, order dismissing case. And this is the clerk putting in the judgment for the judge. So this didn't work. The one before this, March 18th of 2019, didn't work. This is Bay versus State of Illinois. And you can see here it says, 
the court construes plaintiff motion number seven as a rule 59e motion to alter or amend the judgment the motion is denied this case remains closed all right so i don't think i need to go into too much more to show you mr problem solver that your c cannon bay also known as christopher h cannon has no idea what he's doing. He doesn't win any of his cases. And if he continues to go forward with the nonsense claims over and over again as he is, he will be deemed a vexatious litigant and at one point or another will be told by the courts that he is not legally allowed to file a case without a licensed attorney. I'm sorry, sir but you have been duped. This man is not the president of anything except for what he runs around uh, in his mind as being somewhat of an authority figure and the fact that people like you continue to give him the leeway to do such a thing. All right, everyone. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.